Trump is a threat to, di to democracy. I'm Millie Weaver, and you're watching the Millennial Millie Show. Here we are at the Covelli Center in Youngstown, Ohio, where Donald Trump is scheduled to begin his rally later today. As you can see, Trump supporters are lined up. They are ready to enter. Let's go talk to some Trump supporters. What do you guys think about how the FBI has raided Trump and the January 6th Select Committee's hearings? I think it's awful. And I think if the shoe was on the other foot and it was Biden or one of his children, because look at Hunter's laptop, they do nothing. Justice isn't fair right now. And it needs to be straight now. The FBI has become a political arm of, of you know, a, a political punishment arm anymore. Uh, if you look at approval ratings of the FBI, they're historically extremely low at the moment. So a lot, a lot of people don't trust the FBI. They weaponize the FBI against him and then they'll use it against anybody. And I said, when they did that to Trump, I, I told my wife, Mike Lindell's next. My thing is, I, I just found out it, it's nothing but a sham. I heard that they were chumped up search warrants. I already know, because this is something going on that they don't want him back in there. So what do you think about the FBI raiding Trump's home and also the Democrats trying to do their J6 select committee? They're just setting themselves up for the failure. The world will see how evil and corrupt they are. So they're just setting themselves up for the failure, and we're waiting for them all to go down very they're soon. Like yeah. thugs. They're just being Biden's ridiculous. trying to take his, or Biden's trying to take the heat off of himself for his failed presidency and blaming it back on Trump. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And what do you think about the January 6th Select Committee? A bunch of there. That was just wrong. And it's just, a, it's, it's just the Democrats trying to, I don't know what they're trying to do. They're trying to do anything they can to, to go against and bring down the United States. And that's, why, that's all they're doing. And it's not going to work. Are you excited to go to Trump's rally? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> that's why we're here. <laughs> what do you think about the FBI raiding Trump's home and also the January 6th Selects Committee hearings? Uh, I, what can no, I say? No <laughs> I don't want to get myself in trouble. Yeah. So. <laughs> right, with all the censorship, you have to be careful yeah, these right. days and canceling. I don't want to knock on my door. Yeah. <laughs> what, the 87,000 IRS agents, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah, I yeah. know, right? Yeah. They're probably coming after me now, right? <laughs> they enacted that new piece of legislation to get 87,000 IRS agents. Does that feel like that's their solution to get more money, to shake more people like you down? They, they're saying they're the IRS agents right now. They're not. There ain't no damn way that someone's going to be that stupid to believe that those are actually IRS agents where they're going to be coming after your taxes. They're not coming after your taxes. They're coming after all of our rights. And it's just a, just something to add to the, C, the CIA and the FBI. They didn't have enough people, so it's like, hey, we'll get some IRS agents because spring's coming up, taxes are coming up, so we'll use them to go after everybody. It's a setup. <laughs> it was a setup. I know what I want to say about it. Yes, go ahead. Well, I think it's so bull****. That's what I think. Well, here's the thing. How many times are they going to do something like the dossier, the the Russian prostitutes, nine, um, Hunter Biden, and then the news runs with it like it's truth. It gets debunked. It gets proven wrong. And then something else happens. Before yeah, midterm, stop. before November, I guarantee you, Something else will happen, and then it'll come to fruition a year later. Uh, we were wrong. Yeah. Every time. But the news still runs with it. We, well, you know, Trump just found out that there was on the, guy that, the guy that was the Russian uh, that was saying that he was co course. He was paying uh, the FBI yeah. payroll. It'll be another right? nothing. Like, burger. nobody's even talking about that anymore. It's like, come on, oh my gosh, he's on the payroll for the FBI, and you guys aren't even talking about this. Like, the FBI paid for Russian disinformation to frame Trump. That's all over the news. That just came out two or three days ago during his campaign. They weaponized the federal police bureaucracy in order to go after a political opponent. What does that sound like? Does that sound like the United States of America? No, that really doesn't. It's, it's insane. Propaganda. Oh, hold on, there's something going on over here. Oh look, is it FBI front here? Oh yeah, very cool. 
Yeah, FBI Front showed up for their photo op at the Trump rally. How funny is this? What stands out about this group and where one could come to the conclusion that this really is an FBI operation is how polished and organized they are. First of all, their website is extremely professional with well done graphics, professional photos, and even a cinematic video trailer. It's almost too professional. Their social media posts are uniform and look like they're managed by a social media expert. And they always, always wear matching uniforms and white face coverings. They've held several marches around the country similar to the one held in, in DC. Boo. We don't need any people showing up with masks on. Yeah, that's the real question is why are they hiding their identity? Yeah, why are you guys acting like Antifa hiding your faces? Really? Come on now, don't be cowards. You can't ask, answer my question. Wow, it's looking like the protesters against Trump are looking pretty slim these days. Not too many people that have the nerve to come out and speak about Trump when Biden has pretty much destroyed the country. I think we should oppose fascism. Your sign says so. Yeah, uh, oppose anything. It's realistically towards Trump, okay. 45. Should we oppose fascism from our own government and our own law enforcement agencies when they start you know, doing FBI raids on politicians or tomorrow, people well, because of their top, political affiliations? You know, when it comes to top secret documents, whatever it is that we the people don't know, it's up to the FBI. The case law is clear that the president of the United States is none of those. And when declassifying information, he does not have to go to any kind of specific procedure. That's the facts. That's the reality that you don't want to acknowledge. When Trump 45, your dictator wannabe, decides to spew lies, I'm sorry y'all want to believe his delusional lies. I mean, dictator I'm, wannabe, no. Joe Biden just recently came out and demonized half of Americans and called them a threat to national security. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. Extreme ideology. They promote authoritarian leaders and they fan the flames of political violence. They're a threat to our personal rights. Yeah. Trump is a threat to, di to democracy. Trump is a threat to dictator. Not Biden. Have your lives been personally affected by the Democrats and Joe Biden's policies? Yes, I have a daughter that was fired for not taking the which I, along with a bunch of other fire workers, health workers, policemen, that was awful. It's a violation of our Constitution. It should never have happened. That's one thing. The higher gas prices, the higher food prices. I mean, we're, we're with everybody else that's here at this rally, so. Everything you go, the gasoline, the whatever you want to buy, it's extremely expensive, no safe, really bad. Us and our families and our kids. What's one thing that has been very damaging to you and your family? Finances. <laughs> I ain't got no money coming in. But they want money. They want money for everything, but you ain't got no money to give them. What are you going to do? Get blood off a turnip? I mean, it's not going to happen. Well, I'm sick of the gas prices, number one. Every time you get in your car, you worry about how much money. Mine is taking probably $100 to fill the tank. Wow. Yeah. So I'm sick of it, and it's bad on gas, too. Right, and we know that with the gas prices being high, that affects it's semi-truck drivers, it affects farmers, and we're also seeing higher grocery store bills and prices. So how much would you say your grocery bill's gone up? I'm thankful that I'm the only one at home, so I don't eat very much. It's gone a lot. Up. Yeah, it's gone. Up. I do. I do like 150 I a week, and I buy the same thing over and over, it's and it's up to well, like 40 dollars now. Yeah. Probably, yeah, double for sure. Double what yeah. we used to spend, yeah. for sure. Yes, for sure. Right. When you add everything in. Yeah. I had to um, leave my job of 25 years because I didn't want to get, you know. And uh, so I had to take an early retirement because I refused to do that. So it's yeah. sad. It really is. Yeah. It's a violation of your rights. Yes, exactly. Right. Exactly. Well, that's a shame. Well, good for you for standing up for your bodily rights, though. Thank you. What's one of the ways you've been affected, if you don't mind me asking? Well, the biggest one, the economy. 
the biggest one right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing that a lot from people here that they've been really financially hurt yes. from this. Yes, I know friends personally, they're strapped just like a lot of us are out here. Inflation, gas prices, uh, I mean the food prices, you can go on and on. Um, and it's going to get worse. Look at the stock market just went down. Paying for higher gas or price, gas prices, electricity, um, lost thousands of dollars in my 401k, and I work my behind off. And it's never been, it's crazy, but we have to rely on God for, for all the rest, so. Open up the pipelines. Yes. I think up. bad decision to go back and undo everything that Donald Trump did. Yes. Boo, boo Biden. Right. Yes. And the gas prices have an effect on the food prices too. I mean, how many of your guys' grocery bills have went through the roof? So crazy, crazy. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Well, are you guys going to be turning up to vote in the midterms? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I work the polls. I believe in the right to vote for our country. We fought a lot of rights and or a lot of battles to have these freedoms. And I am so mad that, that there's so much corruption in the last <laughs> Donald Trump <laughs> And um, I'm praying hard. I'm a radical Christian, and we are praying three times a week that, that this will, will not be anymore. Yes. 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 Trump is our president, but Jesus is our savior. Yeah.